Why are you so worried? About what? Because of how people see you? Of course I am too. I'm even worried of how do I look in this interview because it's somehow important to me. But it makes no sense because the problem is that we are constantly judging other each other. We like this society has taught us to like have always to demonstrate that we are better, that we are doing great, that we are having fun and that we are happy, even if it's not real at all. Now, this is just appearance and it's taking us apart from each other and like we're not true anymore. I, I know that in this world of post-reality, post-truth, it's very difficult to demonstrate that something is real, but there is a whole world outside, like, outside of this camera. Right now you are listening to me and you are trusting my words because I'm inside this rectangle. Like, you are trusting me because I'm on a pedestal and I'm, even if I'm speaking words that I didn't wrote, someone else might be wrote them. You are trusting me because I'm speaking to a camera. I'm very sorry that a lot of people try to, like, judge each other depending on what he sees in the video and that's crazy it's we're getting less and less human and like you know uh, the world is is something beautiful we should explore it all together as friends mostly not as it's not a competition life should not be a competition about who is better and who is not it's the same species actually we, are, we have technology which should like make us together this is the power of technology you are using for the stupidest thing and right now you're alive and you should try to be sincere with your work with, with your life where's the truth we are using the truth of our lives Reality is something else. It's a huge universe that we forget to explore because we are so focused on these things which are incredibly useful. Like they are incredible tools to to work with to to get a better life. But they're like disturbing our attention. We are not anymore focused on the reality. We we are forgetting how to touch things, how to feel. It's what we, it makes us human beings, and it's crazy. In materiality, it's just something that you project from your mind. It's, it's not something that exists. It's like word. It's made up of things. There's no proof that there is another word out there. Like we have only proof of th this that you are alive, that you have feelings that you can touch things but you're not the center of the universe and there's a wall world seriously why universe actually probably infinite universes and you are just a little part that has the special ability of experiencing it and it's way too pretentious to invent one other non-existing world that you can't touch because you have to justify your presence here or also to say to control other people because like this is what for like it's like for religion it's like for concepts ideas that are from another world no this is the world we have an incredible gift who knows why but we have we are very lucky of being alive and having the possibility of experiencing it. And it's crazy that we, we are like losing our minds because we are always focusing on something that does not exist.